Sunday Bank Stadium, the Highland Lady Hawks, a record of 12 Panthers are unbeaten at 17-0 on the year, and they're trying to get back. 2,000 foot retail store with wholesome foods. The store feature calm. For the best options in roofing, siding, windows, and doors, Provia products are the clear choice. At Provia, quality is engineered into the product, integrity is never compromised, and local craftsmanship delivers us Charm Ohio. Kime, built on trust since 1911. On appliances are the best in years. Save $550 on the popular GE Deal French door refrigerator with dispenser for only $16.99. Plus qualify. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller. In our Collision Center, mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup in Millersburg. Are you having ongoing issues with your flooding? Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof and right. Call MBB Systems Incorporated today at 330-85. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg and always being available. Everyone knows that Millersburg Tire Service sells a lot of farm tires like BKT, Seat, Firestone, Michelin, Titan, Galaxy, D-Stone, and Lions. Hi, this is Brad Smucker from Millersburg Tire Service, and we also sold Tire Service Has It, or we can get it from the many suppliers that we have available. Plus, we sell tires in Ohio and all the celebrating our 70th year in the tire business. Stop in all this week for these great savings at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody, $4. We also have 85% lean ground round, $3.99 a pound, beef loin boneless top sirloin. It's time now for Before the Kick, brought to you by Hobbins Insurance of Millersburg. Are you covered? Hi, this is Larry Hobrin from Hobrin's Insurance Service in Millersburg and Sugar Creek. We don't believe in selling our customers the cheapest insurance coverage. We believe in selling you the right insurance coverage. At Hobrin's Insurance Service, we won't sell you a minimum limits policy when you have a home or business to protect. We'll set you up a policy that offers you complete coverage for the long-term peace of mind. See our full list of services on our website at hobrinsinsurance.com or call us at 674-9091 or 1-800-340-3767 for a complete insurance coverage quote. Alongside Highland Levy Hawks, this soccer coach Connor Lee coming off a 2 0 win over Badger to move on to this regional semifinal game. And Connor, of course, he got that big goal in that last game toward the end of the first half by Chanel Kellogg. Take us through that goal here that allowed you to get that, uh, that lead going into the first half. It was a little bit against the run of the play, honestly. I mean, we, we, had, we had had the ball in our defensive end a lot of the half. They were, they were putting a lot of pressure on us. Um, and last closing minutes of the first half to get that goal and take it into the halftime with a 1-0 lead was huge. That was huge, and obviously Kaylin Miller, that goal there early part of the second half, going to help you kind of get a couple goal lead here, a little more of a cushion at that point. It was great for us to bookend the half with a, with a goal at the end and at the start of the second half. Um, and, you know, when you can do that and get the 2-0 lead, get yourself a, a bit of a cushion going into the start of the second half, that was that was really big for us. Connor, you look at this team here now, the fourth consecutive year going to the regionals here for the soccer program. What does it mean for, for you as a coach here, guiding this program, getting a chance to make it to the regionals now on a, on a consistent basis? It's it's a big deal, you know, and, and we've had some really talented groups over the years. Um, and, you know, every year finding a different way to get to this stage. Um, I, I don't think that's lost on the girls how big of a deal that is and, and how special it is. So uh, I couldn't be prouder of the group this year and the effort that they've put in in this postseason. They on Manchester, of course, undefeated season. You played them all the way back first game of the year and you lost to them 4 nothing in that game. But that was a long time ago here. What do you remember about this Manchester team when you got a chance to go up against them? They're a great team. You know, they're really talented in every position. They're well coached, well organized. Um, dangerous offensively, organized defensively. Uh, this is the type of team where, you know, you, you hold on for dear life, play, play, your, play your game, uh, try to stay organized and look for an opportunity to sneak one in. Um, so that's the game plan. You know, we're going to try to play good defense, um, keep, keep the score close, and, and look for opportunities to, to get one in and, and, and go away with the win. 
one of those things, Connor, you get to this point, you expect to play somebody really good here. That's just with the name of the game to get to the regional level. Yeah, 16, 16 teams left in the state. You expect all 16 to be strong, uh, and, and, and you wouldn't want it any other way. So we're excited to be here and excited to play good competition. Connor, thanks for your time, and good luck tonight. Thank you. That's Oysal Highland head soccer coach, Connor Lee. Before the Kick has been brought to you on WKLM by Hobrins Insurance in Millersburg. This is Raleigh Mast. I'm a fleet mechanic with Yoder Lumber Logistics. We are a truck load carrier and broker servicing customers east of the Rocky Mountains. We have a fleet of late model equipment specializing in flatbed and Conestoga freight. At Yoder Lumber Logistics, we take pride in offering our customers fast and friendly service at competitive rates for all their inbound and outbound needs. Give us a call today at 330-893-3131. The Holmes County Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Bureau is proud to support our local athletes. Our mission is to help our members succeed through advocacy, leadership, economic development, innovation, communication, and maintaining our community's identity. Visit www.homescountychamber.com. MRV Sunning Supply is introducing another line of stone called Casa di Sassi, where old world charm meets modern luxury. Whether you're looking to enhance your outdoor space or add a touch of sophistication to your interior design, their wide range of products will meet your every need. Choose from a variety of styles and colors to create the perfect ambiance for your space. Casa di Sassi, where timeless beauty meets exceptional quality. Discover the possibilities at MRV Sunning Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg or on the web at mrvsunning.com. Get your siding supplies from the siding guys. MRV Siding Supply. Getting the kids to practice on time. Remembering if it's your day to bring snacks. Making it to the game with a clean jersey. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto owners works with independent agents who answer when you call, so you can worry about more important things like whether your kid is going to run toward first or third base. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester or online at HummelGRP.com. Hi, this is Dr. Stosh Cass, owner of Home Spine and Sport Chiropractic in Millersburg. Our doctors have been treating spinal disc herniations, disc bulges, sciatica, and spinal pain for almost 30 years now with great success. Our office also uses Class 4 medical lasers to decrease inflammation and pain and to aid in the healing of multiple joint and soft tissue injuries. With our newest medical lasers and advanced technology and research, we are now able to offer treatment for multiple forms of neuropathy, including diabetic neuropathy and post-chemo neuropathy. Do you want to stop the frequent burn and pain in your hands and feet, the loss of sensation and coordination in your hands and feet, or the sharp pain and numbness, we want to help. Call us today for your consultation at 330-674-0444. The regional semifinals where they would fall to Grandview Heights by the score of 3-2. Highland last year lost to Manchester in regular season play 2 to nothing. And for Manchester last year, had a career season for them as they went 21-2, and two, and they advanced all the way to the state semifinals where they eventually would fall to Ottawa Glendorf over at Madison Comprehensive by the score 2 nothing in that state semifinal match from a season ago. As far as this season is concerned, Highland with a record of 12-9-1, and one, and for them along the tournament trail for them, wins over Ridgewood 4 nothing, a win over Bishop Rosecrans 2-1 in overtime, a 2-1 shootout victory over Tusky Valley, one one nothing over Cardinal Mooney, and then that 2 nothing win over Badger to close out and capture the district championship for a fourth consecutive year. Manchester, a record of 17-0, the third-ranked team in Division Three in girls' soccer, so unbeaten on the season. And Manchester, as far as they are concerned here in their tournament run, have gotten themselves again back uh, to this uh, regional semifinal contest for a second consecutive year uh, as far as their postseason run is concerned. And for Manchester, comes in a dominant year for them, mentioned unbeaten. They have scored 109 goals on the year and have given up just six. That's how dominant they've been this year, averaging six and a half goals per game, giving up a .35 goals defensively on the season. So under a goal allowed per game, but they've scored six and a half goals per game. Highland is averaging two goals per contest, giving up a goal and a half a game on the defensive end. This is the Division Three Girls Regional Semifinals. Highland against Manchester. The winner will take 
on either champion, Warren Champion, ranked eighth in Division Three, or Norway. And the regional final game would be coming up this Saturday. Then it'd be at four o'clock, and then it'll be played over at Talmadge. We'll take a break. Come back with more on the pregame show after this on WKLM. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. I wanted something that I could learn a little bit more about what I was passionate about. I wanted to learn a trade that would always be in demand. Buckeye has so many opportunities for everyone. You're here because you want to do what you came here to do. This is the best choice that I've made. Uh, I just think it's set me up to be a better person. Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center continues to offer the convenience of two great locations on US 62 in Weinsburg and on County Road 201 in Berlin. The Winesburg shop will take care of heavy-duty truck and fleet customers from 7 a.m. to midnight, while the Berlin facility will repair auto and light trucks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Contact them in Winesburg at 359-5421 or in Berlin at 674-6970. That's Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center in Winesburg and Berlin. Are you tired of wasting money on your home energy bills? Let home siting contractors show you just how affordable replacing your windows can be. Provia has developed a reputation within the vinyl replacement window industry for having the best features and options. The Provia Endor and Aspect windows are as stunningly beautiful as they are energy efficient and over time will pay for themselves. Call home siting contractors today to set up your free in-home evaluation by calling 888-725-6619. We are video live streaming tonight's tournament soccer contest here from Ravenna, and that is on the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of the Claxon Communications. Casey Claxon producing tonight's live stream coverage, and also Evelyn Heyer working the camera. You can go to YouTube, search WKLM Radio to find the video live stream coverage for tonight. We're also on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. And Kenna Howe back at WKLM Sports Central. Also a reminder tonight, we have more girls regional semifinal soccer from Coshocton. West Holmes in action, of course, against John Glenn. That also is being video live streamed on the WKLM YouTube page courtesy of Claxon Communications. Jake Saito on hand for that broadcast. And again, uh, that'll be underway tonight but the same time frame here for the pregame show. They should be underway for that in the game time at 7 o'clock also for that contest uh, for that West Holmes John Glenn girls regional semifinal game also being video live streamed on YouTube. For tomorrow, we'll have boys regional semifinal soccer. Of course, Highland taking on Worthington Christian. That'll be video live streamed on the WKLM YouTube page and it'll also be on FN95 Three and WKLMFM.com. Airtime about 6.35 for that. Game time at 7 o'clock. And also tomorrow night we'll have boys regional semifinal soccer as Central Christian takes on Evergreen. That'll be uh, live on stream 2 on WKLMFM.com for that soccer contest with Central Christian and Evergreen. Also coming up on Thursday we'll have Regional semifinal volleyball as Highland takes on Shenandoah from Pickerington North. And that'll be video live streamed on the WKLM YouTube page as well. It's also be on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com on Thursday. Airtime about 7 o'clock. Game time right around 7.30 come up on Thursday. And, of course, playoff football with West Holmes as well as Garraway on Friday. And hopefully some more uh, tournament games coming away on Saturday, depending on how all the teams do during the course of the week. We'll take a break. Come back with the starting lineups and the opening kick after this on WKLM. Everywhere, every day, someone somewhere needs someone to care. Young people are especially desirous of someone to show an interest in what they do, where they are going, and what they will become. Denco Marketing of Millersburg believes taking that interest in a young person can make all the difference. Which young person needs your time and interest? Whichever one or ones you can give it to. They'll take care of the rest. Supporting young people in all endeavors is especially important to Denko Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home.
Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent, Hobrin's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. It's never too early to start thinking about the holidays. Hi, this is Danny Roll from the Jewelry Store in Millersburg. And yes, I can hear everyone out there groaning right now, but it's true, the holidays are not that far away. Wouldn't you like to have your shopping done early this year? At the Jewelry Store, we do a layaway to take the stress out of the last minute shopping. Shop early, find what you want, and lay it away until you need it. It's that easy. If you need a couple of ideas, you might want to check out our locally made leather purses and earrings. Find out for yourself at the Jewelry Store, 97 West Jackson Street in historic downtown Millersburg. A single-family home located at 126 Maple Street Southwest in Sugar Creek is listed for sale by Kauffman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $375,000. This property was built in 1920 and has four bedrooms and three full baths, 2,825 square feet located in the John S. Yoder Ad 1 subdivision within the Garraway Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Brian Gibson at 330-852-4111 or check it out. to the regionals for a fourth consecutive year, trying to get to the regional finals for the first time in school history, and they're coached by Connor Lee. For Manchester, the Lady Panthers, starting for them for the evening, that will be senior midfielder Katie Norris, along with uh, senior midfielder Grace Souls, and also senior defender Kennedy Bull. Also starting for Manchester, that'll be senior forward Gina Tipton, along with junior midfielder Elia Cranick and also senior midfielder in Rowan Electrowitz. Also starting for them will be senior defender in Maya Schaber and senior defender Kerry Clark, senior defender Emily Allman, and senior midfielder Lauren Gunsett. Also starting will be senior goalkeeper Matty Cox. Manchester ranked third in Division Three, unbeaten at 17-0 as they're trying to get back to the regional finals for a second consecutive year, and they're coached by Eddie Kistner. We'll take a break, come back with the opening kick after this on WKLM. In business for 39 years, Anderholm Veterinary Clinic, located on Main Street in downtown Berlin, is Holmes County's full-service companion animal hospital. Dr. Anderholm and her staff are dedicated to the finest pet and companion animal care in Holmes County. If you're looking for a full-service veterinarian for your companion animals, visit the Anderholm Veterinary Clinic in Berlin or give them a call at 330-893-3256. Anderholm Veterinary Clinic is a proud supporter of high school girls softball. Good luck on the tournament trail to all of the area softball teams. Taking on a large exterior home project is no small task. When you're looking for the best options in roofing, siding, windows, and doors, Provia products are the clear choice. At Provia, quality is engineered into the product, integrity is never compromised, and local craftsmanship delivers a stunning final result that will last for generations. Our experts at Kime Home Center are here to help you explore the possibilities. Visit Kime in Charm, Ohio. Kime, built on trust since 1911. Fikert Concrete, located on County Road 189 between Benton and Holmesville, specializes in ready-mixed concrete and state-approved limestone, sand, and gravel. All mixed styles are available, and you can count on fast, dependable delivery and competitive prices. Fikert Concrete has served homes and surrounding counties for over 75 years. Call Fikert Concrete today for all your concrete needs at 674-0038. Remember, for quality concrete, it's Fikert Concrete. 
Black Friday is Black November at Millersburg Electric with appliance discounts all month long. Storewide savings on all appliance brands, including the top rated line of Speed Queen laundry products. In addition to the traditional white, Speed Queen is now offering a popular black matte finish. Building or remodeling? See the full line of cafe kitchen products and earn up to $3,000 in rebates. Plus, qualified customers receive 12 months interest free financing. It's Black November at Millersburg Electric on State Route 83 or shop 24 7 at MillersburgElectric.com. At Fierce Creative Solutions, they are more than marketing. They are marketing focused on relationships and results. Fierce Creative Solutions will partner with your business to help with marketing strategies, building a great website, managing social media, graphic design, photography, and videography. As you close out the end of the year and prepare for 2024, is your business ready to grow in the midst of the changing market? If not, give Fierce Creative Solutions a call today at 330-641-4228. Get financial solutions when you need it from Dave Stable Financial Services. After winning six state championships as a head basketball coach, Dave Stable knows that planning, preparation, and hard work can lead to success. And the same can be applied to your financial future. Whether you are a young adult, individual, family, or a business, Dave Stable Financial Services will establish financial goals and income protection. Contact Dave Stable Financial Services at 893-1900, located at 4585 State Route 39, Millersburg. Securities offered through ON Equity Sales Company, member FINRA SIPC. Have you heard of Seat Farm Tires yet? We bet your neighbors have. Hi, this is Brad Smucker from Millersburg Tire Service, and we have been selling this premium radial tire for over six years now. If you need a good tire that has been proven in the field and on the road at a great price, then Seat is the tire for you. Just remember your ABCs. Always buy Seat. When you want the best, call MTS. Reach us at 330-674-1085 and our experts will give you all the details. Located on the State Route 39 east of Mellersburg. Celebrating 70 years in the tire business. Stop in all this week for these great savings at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have gold or red potatoes, two for five dollars. Super sweet golden whole pineapple, two for four dollars. Turkey Hill ice cream, two ninety eight. We also have IJ sliced bacon, three forty nine. Easy peel, thirty one to forty count raw shrimp, eight forty nine. Cod fillets for seven nineteen. Sargento shredded cheese, two for six dollars. Smith's cottage cheese, three seventy nine. Half gallon almond milk, three forty nine. And two pack Kraft Philadelphia cream cheese for four ninety eight. That's now through Sunday at Rody's IJ Marketplace in Millersburg. We are at Portage Community Bank Stadium in Ravenna tonight. Now, if you are watching the live stream coverage on YouTube tonight, uh, no, there's nothing wrong with the lighting on the camera. It is a blue turf field they have here in Ravenna. So a very colorful field. Both teams will have a chance to play on tonight as you watch the live stream coverage for this evening on the blue turf field they have here at Portage Community Bank Stadium. Of course, the winner of this game does move on to the regional championship. That'll be this Saturday against either... 8th ranked champion or Norway and then it'll be at 4 o'clock at Talmadge for that regional championship game. Mac Roy alongside with you. Again, we are video live streaming tonight's contest on the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of Claxon Communications with Casey Claxon producing tonight's live stream coverage and also Evelyn Heyer working in the camera. We're also on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Kenna Howe back at WKLM Sports Central. Reminder also, we're video live streaming the Girls Division 2 Regional Semifinal Soccer Contest from Coshocton. That's also on YouTube as we speak. West Tolls taking on John Glenn. You can find that on the WKLM YouTube page. Highland here at uh, in Ravenna wearing their black jerseys, black shorts, white numerals, and black socks. And for Manchester, white jerseys and white shorts, and also their uh, brown numerals in white socks as well. Just about ready to get things underway from Ravenna. And there is the whistle. We are underway in girls' Division Three regional semifinal soccer from Porter's Community Bank Stadium in Ravenna. Here's the kick to the near side of midfield being knocked away. On the kick back to the far end off the foot now of Maya Shaber as Manchester goes from right to left here in this first half. Back near the midfield circle. Ball knocked to the near side. Going to be corralled here on the kick by Kennedy Bull. Bull works at midfield. Pass goes near side. Gets it over to Maya Shaber. Back on the near sideline. Knocked away. Goes across the touch off of the Lady Hawks and Emily Gingrich. And now it'll be a throw in for Manchester. The throw for Maya Shaber, the senior defender. Lobs it near side near that 25-yard line on the Lady Panthers offensive end. Here's the kick now by Katie Norris. Lobs her kick near the deck. Going to be into the hands of goalkeeper Bryn 
Yoder, who corrals it on that shot on goal by Katie Norris. The long shot right at her, and Yoder's there for the keeper's save. So right on the attack, right off the bat for Manchester. And Connor Lee talked about this is an outstanding Manchester team and one of those games where you have to kind of hold on for dear life and do the best you can to kind of keep up with this Manchester team and prevent that ball from going in the net. So it'll be a big task here, especially for the Highland defenders tonight, as well as goalkeeper Bren Yoder to prevent Manchester from scoring because you know they're going to get their opportunities. Ball knocked into the Highland offensive end. She's down defensively, and the kick knocked to the far side by Manchester's uh, Taryn Mosissian to the far end. Going to be corralled back near the midfield line. Knocked back across the touch. It'll be a throw-in now for the Lady Hawks at midfield. Ball thrown in by Rihanna Lies down the far sideline. Intercepted right away on the kick by Emily Ullman. Pounds it across the midfield line. Bounce it inside the midfield circle. With this kick now controlled down by Lauren Gunsett. Gunsett into the offensive end. And near the top of the box, here's the kick. Goes left wing. And a shot near that going to be grabbed by Bren Yoder. Another shot. And keeper saved by Yoder. The shot is the foot by Rowan Olechnowitz with that shot on goal. But Bren Yoder, her second keeper save on that second shot on goal for Manchester. Still scoreless. It'll be punted away by Bren Yoder. Low bouncing kick off the turf. Bounces near the midfield line. Intercepted here on in the kick by Kerry Clark. And she'll knock it down the far sideline. Kept it in play near that 25-yard line. Lobbed high in the air on the kick by Highland. Ricochets back to the far end. Controlled here for Manchester's Kerry Clark. Her kick bounces inside the box. It'll be scooped up by Highland goalkeeper Bren Yoder. Good aggressive play by Yoder. As charging after it was Gina Tipton for Manchester, but she got to it first, and she'll now punt it away. Low bouncing kick near that 35-yard line. Deflected back to the near sideline, goes across the touch. Now she'll keep in play on the kick by Rowan Olechnowitz. Now knocked across the touch off of her foot. Highland's going to have the throw from their defensive end. No score early on, 37 minutes to play first half. Ball thrown in, near sideline, knocked up in the air. On the initial throw in, and be chased down on the kick. Inside the box, breaking free, and that kick goes wide right in across the goal line. That time breaking in there was Gina Tipton. Good job by Highland defensively to knock that ball away from her. It goes across the goal line. It will be a corner kick for Manchester, their first of the contest. Corner kick from that far side of the field. Hand up in the air, and here is the kick. Lobs it in front of the net. Can be a header. Gounces wide left and across the goal line. Had the opportunity. And that corner kick from the far side. And the corner kick was by Ella Craddock. And she found Emily Ullman on the header. But it goes wide left and across the goal line. So Highland's going to have the goal kick. Their first of the contest. Bren Yoder will line it up for the Lady Hawks. No score. 36 minutes to play first half. Yoder low lining kick. Bounces near the 25-yard line. It'll be cut off. Here's the kick sent away across the midfield line. It was off the foot of Highland's McKenna Stable. Ricochets inside the midfield circle. Stole away back near the midfield. Here's the kick inside the circle. It's over to Grace Souls. Gets it into the Manchester offensive end. Working that ball now is Lauren Gunsett near the top of the box. Controlled here on the kick by Katie Norris. Knocks it back behind her. Trying to spread the field. And that pass goes to Grace Souls. Backs it up and the pass goes to the far sideline. Manchester spreads the field. Centering pass. Controlled off the foot of Ella Craddock. Knocked back to the far sideline. Stolen away here by the Lady Hawks as it pounds back near the midfield line. Manchester now has the ball. Knocked up of the air on the kick. Off the foot of Maya Miller. Bounds it, uh, pounds it near that 40-yard line. Highland has the ball. Goes near side on that pass. Uh, cut off again. Trying to get that pass to Gingrich, but stolen away. Good steal that time by Rowan Olechnowitz. Back in the left wing. Rolls inside the box. And scooped up by goalkeeper Bren Yoder. Yoder scoops it up easily. To the right of the goal post and on that goal line. And she'll get near the top of the box to punt it away. She'll do so and seal it away as it bounces right around midfield. Control it here in the midfield on the kick. Back to the far side by Chanel Kellogg. And shakes down defensively by the Lady Panthers on that kick. Goes to Kennedy Bowl. Rolls it past midfield. Controlled now by Lauren Gunsett. Works it near sideline. Gets a pass off. Controlled now by Rowan Electus down the near side. Gets a pass off left wing to Katie Norris. Norris is kicked near the top of the box. Chased down by Gina Tipton, now stolen away. Highland has the ball. The kick goes across the midfield line. Chased down again defensively by Emily Ullman. 
Allman chases it back down, rolls her pass near side defensively over to Grace Souls. She'll work it now for the Lady Panthers near that 40-yard line on their defensive end. Back near midfield. Pass goes off the foot now of Maya Shaber into the offensive end. Near side, chasing it down is Rowan Oleknewis. She'll get it back to that near side corner near the wing. Lobs it near the top of the box. Intercepted by Highland on that kick. Sit back near the midfield circle by Lydia Mast. Intercepted, however, by Manchester on the pass to Shaber. Back high on the left. Chase back down the near side corner now over to Oleknewitz. Her pass inside the box. Intercepted again. That time knocked away. On the kick by Chloe Beach back near that 30-yard line. And cut off again by Manchester and Maya Shaber. Back inside the circle. Ball over to the direction of Grace Souls. Gets her pass off over to Katie Norris. Back high on the right side. The kick goes over to Ella Craddock. Back behind her near the midfield circle. Knocked back to the far sideline. Here's the kick. Ricochets away. And controlled down that far end of the field by Kerry Clark. Hark battling for it. Knocked high in the air on the kick by the Lady Hawks. Back to the far sideline by Lydia Mass. Here's a header by Maya Miller. Off the foot of Katie Norris trying to keep the ball in play. Stolen back away on the kick by the Lady Hawks on that kick. Back to the right wing. Norris has it. Norris near the top of the box looking for a shot. Knocked back down, however. Nice stutzman. And now knocked back to the far sideline by Maya Miller. And finally rolls across the touch. Italy Mullet allowing that the ball to go across that touch line. It'll be a throw-in for Manchester. About that 25-yard line on their offensive end. Short throw goes over to Gray Souls. Back to the far sideline. Knocked away. Ricochets by Mass. Bound the far sideline. Goes sailing across the touch. And a throw-in again for the Lady Panthers. Midway into their offensive end. No score so far. Lobbed in. Goes off the leg of Lauren Gunsett. Inside the box, lobbed up in the air. It goes bouncing wide right and across the goal line. And that was deflected off of a Highland player. So a corner kick for Manchester will be their second of the game from that far side of the field. With the kick is going to be Ella Braddock. Ella Craddock, I should say, the junior midfielder with this kick. Low lining kick inside the box. Knocked down, kick by Norris. Can be diving grab by goalkeeper Ren Yoder and that shot on goal by Katie Norris. Third shot on goal by Manchester. Norris, uh, Bryn Yoder rather, has her third keeper save. She'll punt it away. Seals it up in the air. There's a header by Maya Shaber. Centering kick on the pass in the middle of the field. Knocked back near that midfield line. Back near side goes to Shaber. Kicks it back over to Bowles defensively. Her kick back to the far sideline. Controlled on this kick by Emily Allman back into the offensive end. Ball lobbed up there by Lauren Gunsett. Knocked back the other way by Mallory Stutzman. He'll be intercepted by Grace Souls for Manchester. Her kick knocked away by Chloe Beach. Rolls it back near the midfield line. Intercepted again. Knocked away. Goes across the touch. That's off of Hyman's uh, Italy Mullet with that kick. It'll be a throw in now for Manchester. At midfield with the throw is Kerry Clark. Lobs it down the four sideline with 30 minutes, 50 seconds and counting in the first half. No score so far. McRae alongside with you on this video live stream broadcast, also on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Here's the kick by Mullet, knocked across the touch. Goes off the foot of Ella Craddock, throw in for Highland. Lobbed in down the far sideline. A couple of bounces here off the foot of Chloe Beach. Sends it back down the far end. It goes to Chanel Kellogg trying to keep it in play. Cannot do so. And it will be a throw in here, I believe. We're going to call a direct kick, actually, for Highland. And for them, it will be just a pass midfield. Their first of the contest. Rihanna Lies will have this kick. She'll sail away near the top of the box. Knock back the other direction. Back near that 40-yard line. There's a header by Norris off the foot of Chloe Beach. She'll chase it back down for Highland. Beach tries to control it. Be and Norris now steals it away. Off the foot of Beach, Norris now controls it for Manchester. Centering pass. Corral now on the kick the left wing. Inside the box, over to her when Electnitz, near kick near the top of the box, cut off by Chloe Beach. Controlled in, and the kick goes wide left off the foot of Lauren Gunsett and easily picked up by Bryn Yoder. Yoder chases it back down, right of that goal post, and she'll scoop it up, gets set to punt it away. Yoder's bouncing kick goes back near the midfield line. Knocked down by Kellogg. 
Kellogg controls it. Pass the near side to Emily Gingrich, and she was kicked was Kellogg. So direct kick for Highland will be their second of the first half. Just shy of midfield, no score. Just under 30 minutes to play. Girls Division Three Regional Semifinal Soccer from Portage Community Bank Stadium in Ravenna. Kick for Highland will be by McKenna Schleyball, the junior. Seals it away down the near sideline. Knocked away back to the near side corner. Gingrich giving chase after the ball. Rolls across the touch. And that'll be off of the Lady Hawks. So Manchester has the throw from their defensive end from that near side corner. And short throw goes near side. Here's the pass to the far end. Corralled by Emily Allman. Allman works it. Upfield near that 35-yard line. Rolls it inside the midfield circle. She'll find Ella Craddock. Back behind her, the Bulls. Bulls works it near side, gets a pass off. Now over to the near side, the guns it back across the midfield line. That pass into the Manchester office end goes to Katie Norris. Ball deflected away. Here's the steal. Mullet had the steal. Knocks a pass midfield, intercepted again. Here's the kick off the foot of Emily Ullman. Cut off back to the far sideline. Ullman chases after the ball defensively for Manchester. Back near the 10-yard line. Air pass gets it over to Kennedy Bowl. Bowl works it defensively for Manchester. Her kick rolls back near midfield. Gets it over to Lauren Gunsett. Inside the circle now. Her pass to the far side. Corralled by Ella Craddock. Into the offensive end. Back down the far end of the field. Going to be intercepted here by Maya Miller. Her kick back down the far sideline. Rolls across the touch. It'll be a throw-in for the Lady Panthers. Winner moves on to the regional championship game this Saturday, 4 o'clock at Talmadge. As I mentioned, they do have the blue turf field surface here at Portage Community Bank, so don't adjust your, your dial there if you're watching on the video live stream coverage. That is a blue field. It's a little unique, colorful field here tonight. The two teams are playing on here in this regional semifinal game. Here's the throw-in down the far side into the Highland offensive end. Can't be handled, though, by Mullet. Goes across the touch. It'll be a throw-in for Manchester. Goes to Cranick. Stolen away by Chloe Beach. Back over to Illy Mullet uh, offensively. Her kick cut off. And knocked back inside the circle. Quick pass goes to Katie Norris. Into the offensive end for Manchester. Norris controls it into the 30-yard line. To the 25. Norris looking. Gets the pass off near the top of the box. Over to Gunson. Some contact, but no foul. Rolls back near the midfield circle. Intercepted on the kick now by Maya Shaber. Long shot by... Number 14, Ella Craddock bounces near the net and grabbed off the bounce by goalkeeper Bryn Yoder. Fourth shot on goal for Manchester. Bryn Yoder has her fourth keeper saves, keeps it a scoreless game. Lobs it back near the midfield line. Chased down by Kellogg. Controls it. She's double teamed. Spins away. And Kellogg still with the ball at midfield. Gets a pass off over to her teammate on the kick to the near side. Ball rolls across that touch. Highland, I believe, under the box. That'll be cut off. Controlled here on the kick, and now Manchester has the ball. Pounded across the midfield line. Cut off, deflected near side, goes to Maya Miller, who rolls it near side of the field. Going to be intercepted now. On the kick is Rowan Holeknowicz. Her pick uh, goes to give and go back to the left wing. Holeknowicz now to the left side. Rolls her kick near the top of the box. Beach will knock it away for Highland. Goes sailing across the touch. Near side of the field. Now Manchester's going to have this throw. Right near the 20-yard line on the Lady Panthers offensive end. New score so far, under 26 minutes to play first half. Throw in by Maya Shaber. Goes to Norris. Norris, her shot near the net goes sealing in the hands of goalkeeper Bren Yoder. Nice long shot. And from that left wing outside of the box, but Yoder right there to grab it. Fifth keeper save on the fifth shot on goal by Manchester. No shots and goal so far for Highland. Ball bounced near that midfield line. Ground on the kick over to Cranick. And knocked back to the center portion of the field now to Kennedy Bowl. Bowl works it. Lobs it past midfield. Gets it over to Lauren Gunson. Knocked back into the Manchester office end near the top of the box. Nobody else around that ball but goalkeeper Bryn Yoder. And she'll easily scoop it up. The junior will get set to punt it away. Sails up in the air near that midfield line. Knocked down. And bounces to the near sideline. Up the foot of Gingrich, who pounds into the Highland offensive end, but no other Highland player around that ball, so it rolls to the opposite side of the field and easily scooped up by goalkeeper Maddie Cox, the junior, the senior goalkeeper for Manchester, will be the chance to grab it for the first time tonight. She'll punt it away. Seals his way back inside the circle. 
Knocked down. Kick goes near side. Goes bouncing over the direction of Maya Shaver. And goes near side with the pass down to Olekowitz. Back into the offensive end. Now to Norris. Norris works near the 20-yard line. Norris controls it. Her pass near the top of the box. Ricochets away. Beach will get a foot on it. Now will knock back near sideline. High on the left. Olekowitz with a kick. Going to be a cutoff. Intercepted again by Craddock. Works it back near the midfield circle as Manchester will spread the field now. Inside the circle. Here's the kick by Emily Ullman. Ullman's kick back near that 30-yard line. Craddock will back it up. Pass goes to the far side of the field. Knock back in the far end. Gets it over to Gina Tempton. And knocked across the foot, touch off of her foot. Throw in now for Highland. And after the game, we'll be announcing the Six Bunnies player of the game. Six Bunnies is your one-stop shop for all things custom apparel. Stay up to date with their latest offerings on Facebook and Instagram. And shop online at sixmoneys.com. Six Bunnies for quality and service. Never go out of style. Girls Division Three Regional Semifinal Soccer from Ravenna. On the attack, here's Manchester. Near the top of the box. Here's a shot. Goes ceiling high and over the goalpost. Going for that strong kick from the top of the box for the Lady Panthers. Manchester, her kick near the top of the box to Norris. Just passed her, though, and the Tipton inside the box. Tipton going for it. Her shot finds the left corner of the net, and that'll be a goal. Brent Yoder dove after the ball, trying to make an aggressive play, but Tipton got to it first. She found the left corner of the net, and the goal was scored by senior four Gina Tipton, giving Manchester the early 1-0 lead with 22-16 to play in the first half. Or is it going to be? Now they're going to say maybe an offsides call. And take that goal off the, the board. So it's going to be high will have the indirect kick instead. So big call that time by the official, and they will not count that goal by Tipton. And play is back underway. So still scoreless on the goal by Tipton. That was uh, taken off the board here on the penalty call by the official. So still a scoreless game. So Highland will dodge that bullet, and now Manchester will have it again offensively. Here's the kick near the top of the box. Knocked near sideline. Near side to Oleknowitz. Works at left wing. Now for the Lady Panthers. Still will scroll this game. Lobs it back near the top of the box to Norris. In traffic. Norris looking for some room. Can't find it. And still with it now. She'll find some daylight. Her kick goes wide left, though, and across the goal line. And it will be a goal kick for Highland, their third of the first half. Katie Norris, the senior midfielder. Norris came in, leading this team in Manchester in scoring with 61 goals on the year. So she's certainly been the go-to player this season for this Manchester team and the senior. Back to the far side. Manchester has the ball. Rolls near the top of the box. Going to be cut off by Mallory Schutzman defensively. She'll pound it back to the far sideline. Italy Mullet steals it away. Mullet double team. Whistle's going to be blown. I believe she was tripped and it will be a direct kick for Highland from their defensive end. Their third direct kick of this first half. Still will score this game with 20 minutes, 40 seconds and counting. First half of action. Knocked away on the kick by Rihanna. Lies. Bounces it near that midfield line. Back inside the circle at the foot of Chloe Beach. Now knocked inside the circle once again. Going to be intercepted by Bull. Rolls her pass near side for Manchester. Now off across the touch. Throw in for Highland. Highland has this throw. Right at midfield near sideline. And a scoreless game. 20 minutes, 19 seconds to play. Second in the first half of action. McKenna Stable has the throw. Lobs it in. Knocked down by Emily Gingrich. Back to the ball. Kicks it away by Maya Miller. The whistle's going to be blown. They'll see it's across the touch. And the Lady Panthers will have this throw. Winner will play either 8th-ranked champion or Norway in Saturday's regional final. This Saturday at 4 o'clock over at Talmadge. Once again, that... West Holmes John Glenn Girls Regional Semifinal Soccer Game. If you're looking for that, that's being video live streamed currently on the WKLM YouTube page. You can find that. West Holmes against John Glenn tonight. Right now, it's Highland against Manchester. We have right now as Manchester has the ball in a scoreless game. Tipton has it offensively near that 30-yard line. Centering pass going to be cut off by Lydia Mass. Lobs it up in the air. Cut off again by Lauren Gunsett for Manchester inside the circle. The kick by Craddock rolls back to the far sideline. Manchester with the ball lobbed in the air to Tipton. Knocks it down. Intercepted by Lydia Mass. Now to Sutzman, who lobs it on the bouncing kick to the far sideline. Whistle's going to be blown here. It'll be a direct kick for Highland. This will be their fourth of the first half. 19 minutes to play. A scoreless contest so far. 
Rihanna Lies has this kick. Lies in the bouncing kick near the midfield line. Ricochets inside the circle. Lobbed up there to Highland offensive end. Gingrich chasing after that ball to the right wing. And stepped in front of defensively. Here's the steal by Bull. Rolls it near sideline to Oeknewitz. Centering pass goes to Craddock. Craddock inside the circle. Works it near side. Back over to Oeknewitz. Works it near the 40 line line offensively. Centering pass. Gets it over to Lauren Gunson. Strong kick who's bouncing left wing. Oeknewitz with kick. Lobs it up in the air. Knocked down. And sent away on the kick now by Stutzman back near the midfield line. Kellogg trying to get to that ball. Controlled instead by Maya Shaber. Back her on the midfield line over to Kennedy Bowl. Inside the circle, she'll find Emily Ullman. Ullman works it. Her pass into the offensive end. Ricochets near the circle to Craddock. Craddock near the 35-yard line. Her kick going to be header back the other way from the top of the box by Mallory Stutzman. Along that midfield line, pass goes near side over to Maya Shaber. Gets a pass over to Oeknewitz. Her kick goes rolling inside the box, right of the goal post, and scooped up easily by Bryn Yoder. And right now, a 1-0 John Glenn lead over West Holmes in the first half. That's John Glenn, a 1-0 lead over West Holmes. And you can find that game on the WKLM YouTube page for that other girls' regional semifinal soccer contest as we speak. But West Holmes right now on the losing end of that game at 1-0. Ball loved up there. Goes ceiling high and Across the goal line. And it will be off of Manchester on that kick. And I believe uh, Lauren Gunsett. And Highland's going to have the goal kick again. Their fourth of this first half. McRoy alongside with you. Again, this game also video live streamed on the WKLM YouTube page. Courtesy of Claxon Communications. Casey Claxon and Evelyn Heyer. And also Kenna Howell back at WKLM Sports Central on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Kick near that 30-yard line. That kick controlled here by Norris. Rolling pass near midfield. Gets it over to Maya Shaber for Manchester. Near the 25-yard line. Near side on the pass. Goes over to Jaden McKinney. Spins around. Pass goes behind her. Back over to Maya Shaber. Shaber controls it. Centering pass down to Norris. Norris near the 20-yard line. Pass goes up over to Craddock. Craddock centering pass. Goes to Tipton. Tipton controls it. Double team. Gets her pass off inside the box. Chased down by Lydia Mass. So she's down near the goal line area, trying to shield uh, the offensive player from Manchester, and it allows her to go finally across the goal line. Just behind her, going after that ball, was Ida Heyman, and still, instead it will be a goal kick for Highland, their fifth of this first half. New score, 16 minutes to play in this first half of action. Girls Division Three Regional Semifinal Soccer from Ravenna. Bryn Yoder, low bouncing kick, knocked back down. Back to Norse, offensively for Manchester. Pass goes behind her. Corral on the kick near that 20-yard line. Craddock with a pass. Goes right wing. He's rolling back to the far side corner. And finally across the goal line. Couldn't quite connect on that pass with Ida Heyman. And Highland, as a result, will have their sixth goal kick of the first half. No goal kicks by comparison for Manchester. As play has been predominantly on the Manchester offensive end. Kicks it away by Bryn Yoder. Masses it to the far end of the field. Here's the kick. Over to Craddock. Craddock works it near the 30-yard line. Her pass near the top of the box. Knocked the other way by Stutzman. Masses it near that 40-yard line area. Controlled on the far end. Here's the kick. Gets it over to Heyman. Heyman works it back to the far side corner. Trying to keep it in play, but rolls across the touch. Highland's going to have this throw. No score. 15 minutes to go in the first half. After the game, we'll be announcing these six bunnies. Player of the game, known for their super soft style, six monies, and outfit your entire family for any sporting event. Stay up to date with their latest offerings on Facebook and Instagram and shop online at sixmoneys.com. Six monies for quality and service never go out of style. Ball ricochets right wing knocked high in the air as it goes ceiling on the far end, but it'll be across the touch before that as the whistle is blown. And we'll call this, I believe, a actually direct kick for Manchester back near that 15-yard uh, line on their offensive end. So this will be their first direct kick of the first half. Manchester has it offensively and be Craddock with this kick. Who's at it? Lobs it up here near the box. Going to be knocked down on the kick that time by Clark off the foot now of Heyman, who knocks it wide right now across the goal line. And Ullman with that shot. Again, a bit wide and across the goal line, so it'll be a goal kick for Highland, their seventh of the first half. 
Ren Yoder now with the kick. Her kick goes sailing to the far sideline. So no way in the kick back to the far end by Highland's Kaylin Miller. Knocked back inside the circle. Chased down defensively by Maya Shaver. Controlled at midfield and over to Jaden McKinney. McKinney works it into the offensive end for the Lady Panthers. Her pass goes to Tipton. Left wing. Chased back down now by Lauren Gunsett. Left wing inside the box. Her cross going to be knocked down inside the box. Out the foot now to the left wing area. Inside that box. And the kick's uh, final way knocked outside to the top of the box area. Where it's knocked down by Cranick. Cranick controls it now. Her pass goes behind her. Left wing. And the near side pass goes to Maya Shaber. Works the left wing. And the pass down to Jita McKinney. She'll back it up. Centering pass down. It goes to Cranick. Craddock controls it for Manchester. Pass goes to the far side near that 20-yard line. Over to uh, Kerry Clark. Clark works it. Keeps it in play. Gets a kickoff down that far side corner. And finally knocked across the goal line. That time goes off the foot of Lydia Mass. It will be a corner kick for Manchester, the third of the first half. No score so far. 12-40 and counting first half from Ravenna. With the kick will be Ella Craddock, the junior. Craddock seals it high in the air. In front of the net, knocked down by Norris. Her shot ricochets away and finally knocked out of there by Maya Miller. And a whistle is going to be blown. And it will be a direct kick here for Highland as they'll place that ball in front of the net for Bryn Yoder. She'll start at it, and Yoder will send the kick away. Low lining kick, knocked down by Kaylin Miller. Knocked away in the kick by Maya Miller near that midfield line. Emily Gingrich gets a foot on that ball. Works it around the midfielder, gets a pass off. Shoots the right pass, Chanel Kellogg, and she's down again defensively by Manchester's to Emily Allman. Back to the far side, gets her pass off. Into the offensive end, here's Katie Norris near that 30-yard line for the Lady Panthers. Her kick goes over to Lauren Gunson, knocked away. Off the foot of McKenna Schleyball, bounces it near the midfield circle. Intercepted by Craddock for the Panthers. Her pass goes near side over to Maya Shaber. Back over to Kennedy Bowl. 11-20 to play first half, new score. Now to Tipton inside the circle. Her pass will be controlled once again by the Lady Panthers on the kick. Into the offensive end goes to Norris. Ball lobbed back over to Tipton. In traffic. Kayla Miller got a foot on that ball. Now knocked high in the air. Back near the midfield line on the kick by Mast. Intercepted again over to Kennedy. Over to Katie Norris. Her pass near side. Tracked back down by Maya Shaber. Rolls her pass high on the left. Oleknowitz with her centering pass. Goes to Cranick. And she'll knock it back inside the circle. Controlled by Kennedy Bull. Works it with 10.40 to play. First half and no score. Over to Maya Shaber. Gets over to Tipton. Tipton's pass. Goes to Norris near the top of the box. Left wing. And working it near the goal line. Off the foot. Uh, Gina McKinney, who couldn't quite handle that pass to her. And goes off of her foot in a wide right across the goal line. So never got a chance to get really a shot on goal that time. And Highland will have their eighth goal kick of the first half. No score so far. 10-15 to play. First half of action. Low bouncing kick will be intercepted by McKinney. Near the top of the box. Knocked back the other way by Stutzman. Bounces it near this midfield circle. It was off of Emily Allman. Centering pass goes to Tipton near that 25-yard line. Nana Norris spins around against the defender Chloe Beach. Near side of the pass. And she'll find Maya Shaber. Rolls it near the top of the box. Now to Tipton. Backs it up. Goes high on the right with it. Working to the ball in close. That shot near the net. Diving right past it. Bryn Yoder. And the goal scored. Goes off the foot, I believe, of Emily Ullman. And that does give Manchester a 1-0 lead. 9.43 to play first half. This is girls regional tournament soccer on WKLM. Stop in all this week for these great savings at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have gold or red potatoes, two for five dollars. Super sweet golden whole pineapple, two for four dollars. Turkey Hill ice cream, two ninety eight. We also have IJ sliced bacon, three forty nine. 
Easy Peel 31 to 40 Count Raw Shrimp, 849. Cod Fillets for 719. Sargento Shredded Cheese, two for six dollars. Smith's Cottage Cheese, 379. Half Gallon Almond Milk, 349. And two pack Kraft Philadelphia Cream Cheese for 498. That's now through Sunday at Rody's IJ Marketplace in Millersburg. Count. Yeah, Manchester does take it and one to lead on the goal by Allman. And now Manchester back on the attack as play resumes near the top of the box. Kicks it away near the net and grabbed off the bounce by Bren Yoder. Again, another shot on goal for Manchester. And on the offensive, on that kick. And that was Allman again with that shot. So Allman getting offensive minded here as this first half wears on. Had the goal, and then the other shot on goal for Manchester, now one nothing. Back into the Highland offensive end. Chased back down on the far side, knocked away back to the far sideline. Going after it was Italy Mullet, but knocked away across the touch instead by the Lady Panthers. Mullet has the throw for Highland on their offensive end. Down one nothing. Lobbed in into the corner, goes to Chanel Kellogg. Kellogg works it against uh, the Flurries here over in Ravenna. Now to the left wing to Kayla Miller, knocked high in the air by Craddock, however, to the far side. Intercepted by the Lady Hawks on that kick. Off the foot of Chloe Beach near the top of the beam. The, the box knocked away. Now to Katie Norris. one nothing Manchester lead on the goal by Emily Ullman. Highland has it offensively. Back to the corner. Mullet will give chase after the ball. Mullet looking. Ricochets back to her on that left wing. Mullet controls it. Her kick knocked. Back to the 25-yard line outside the box. Crowded by Katie Norris. Rolls it back near that midfield circle. Back over to Ullman. Ullman's kick into the Manchester offensive end. And rolls across that touch. Highland's going to have this throw. A 7.5 to play. First half. 1-0 Manchester lead. They got a goal with 9.43 to play. In this first half, Emily Ullman, her 10th goal of the season. Here's the throw in. Header back. Knocked down, and the kick off the foot of Allman gets it over now to Katie Norris near that 35-yard line. Back near side at midfield over to Maya Shaber. Her centering pass cut off by Chloe Beach back inside the circle. Highland with it into the offensive, and here's Italy Mullet. Her kick deflected back inside the circle, and... Manchester has it breaking through. Here's Norris inside the box. Kicks it in close. Norris past the defender. Has her shot knocked down on the grab by Bryn Yoder. Katie Norris split the two defenders inside the box. Got the shot off, but Yoder went down to her knee to get her sixth keeper save of the first half. That was the 11th shot on goal for Manchester in the first half of action. She'll punt it away inside the circle. Six and a half to play first half. one nothing Manchester advantage. Here's the kick over to Bull. Rolls it past near side over to Maya Shaber. Back to Bull on the defensive end. Gets it over on the far side. And the kick back near the midfield line. Rolls it inside the circle to Tipton. Manchester has the ball. Back to the far side to Ullman, but knocked the other direction by Kayla Miller. She'll sail it to the Highland offensive end. Highland, since they gave up that goal, has tried to get a little more aggressive offensively. Obviously trying to pack it in defensively against this very skilled Manchester team initially to start off this game. But now down 1-0. Now the Tipton offensively knocked away. By Stimson, knocked back, knocked back down. Now to Craddock. Her pass goes high on the right side. Long kick is sailing off the top of the goalpost, just uh, over the goalpost, I should say, hit the upright above that. On that long, high kick by Ullman. Trying to go for the long shot, but instead it'll be a goal kick for Highland. Their ninth of the first half, five and a half to play, one nothing Manchester lead. Bren Yoder with the kick, lobs it up there, knocked back down by Kaylin Miller. Now left wing with it is Gina McKinney near the goal line, knocked away from her, goes across the goal line. That'll be off of the Lady Hawks and McKenna Schleyball. So corner kick for Manchester from the near side of the field for the first time. It will be a fourth, their fourth corner kick overall of the first half. And Craddock will again will have this kick. Five minutes in counting. one nothing Manchester. Craddock seals it away in front of the net. Knocked in, in the hands, actually, a goalkeeper, Bren Yoder, who will grab it in midair and she'll snatch it away. Good play by Bren Yoder. She'll survey the field and get set to punt it away and she'll do so. Seals it away inside the 
right near the midfield circle area. There's a header. Chase down. And a kick by a bull into the offensive end. Panthers have it to Craddock. Cut off by Maya Miller. Back to Craddock. Knocks it backwards back to the far side. Chased down on the far end of the field by Kerry Clark. And finally across the, off of her and across the touch throw in for Highland into their offensive end. Idley Mullet will give it to her teammate Rihanna Lies who will throw this ball in from about that 30-yard line on the Highland offensive end. Back to Italy Mullet knocked down. Centering pass cut off by Craddock to tip it inside the circle. Pick near side goes to Gingrich. Gingrich knocked away. Header by Kayla Miller back to Gingrich near that 30-yard line. Double team. Her pass near midfield. Lob high in the air by McKenna Stable. Centering pass. And the header goes over to Chanel Kellogg. Knocks it high in the air. And then Mullet has the foot on that ball. Now to Kayla Miller. Works her pass right wing. Goes to Gingrich. Near side corner. Gingrich will track it back down. Her cross going to be a header outside the box. Off the foot of Gingrich again. Sails it near the top of the box area. Kicked by a mullet. Knocked away from her. And ground quickly by Katie Norris. Norris works it back inside the circle. And for Manchester, they've been very quick. When Highland has had the ball offensively, they get it out of there very quickly. And their defenders also have done a solid job tonight, preventing Highland to get an opportunity to get a shot on goal up to this point. Pass goes near side over to Gingrich with three minutes to play first half. one nothing Manchester. Kick by Gingrich. Leads the pass to the right box. Kellogg going after the ball. She's down by Bull defensively. She'll get to it first. Pass goes near side over to Maya Schaber. Schaber has it back to Bull. And she'll kick it away. Low bouncing kick. He'll be corralled by Ullman, who lobs it up in the air. Header by Lydia Mast. Back across midfield to Italy Mullet. Mullet's pass. Gives her a McKenna Schleyball back near side. Schleyball has it. Knocks it away to the Highland offensive end. Right past Kellogg, however. Chase down. Kellogg going after the ball, trying to get a foot on it. Knocked away inside the circle. Here's the kick by Ullman. Into the offensive end goes to Katie Norris. Off to the races. Norris near the 15-yard line. Her pass goes to Tipton. Cut off by Lydia Mast. Back to the far sideline. Goes finally across that touch. And it will be a throw-in with 2.05 to play. First half, a 1-0 Manchester advantage. Winner moves on to the regional finals Saturday against 8th-ranked champion or Norway at Talmadge at 4 o'clock. Manchester came in unbeaten at 17-0, the third-ranked team in Division Three. Highland, a record of 12-9-1. 145 to play first half, 1-0 Manchester. Now across the touch will be a throw-in here for the... Highland have the direct kick, actually, from that far side. And... Now they will be a throw-in, excuse me. Throw in by Rayana Lies down the far sideline, knocked down. Ricochets back to her, deflected away. Kick by Mass, pounds it back near midfield. Over to Chanel Kellogg. Knocked back across the touch on the far sideline, threw in for Highland. Lies will lob it in down that far sideline. Gets to the Kellogg, takes the bounce over her head, however. Knocked down, goes across the touch off of Kellogg, and it will be a throw in. Lady Panthers will have it with one minute to play. Now in the first half, 1 0 Manchester advantage. Bull has it defensively. Update on the West Holmes score. It's a one-to-one with a minute, with a 30 seconds to play in the first half in that one. So West Holmes against John Glenn, a one-one score in that game. So good one there. And right now, West Highland is down one nothing to Manchester toward the tail end of this first half. But again, that West Holmes John Glenn game also on the video live stream on the WKLM YouTube page. And right now, West Holmes and John Glenn are tied at one apiece. That pass goes near her side with 20 seconds to go. Gets it over to McKinney. McKinney near the goal line, off of her foot and across the goal line. And it will be a goal kick for Highland, their 10th of the first half. 10 seconds to go. Bren Yoder now has this kick. Sails it away near Silent to Gingrich. Knocked down, and that will do it for the first half of action. Girls Division Three Regional Semifinal Soccer from Ravenna. It is Manchester 1 and Highland nothing. Back to recap the first half for you after this on WKLM. 
Untangling your headphones, finding the right remote, saying goodbye to your favorite shirt that hasn't fit in 10 years. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto owners works with independent agents who live in your community and answer when you call. So you can worry about more important things, like finding a new favorite shirt. That's simple human sense. Visit Humble Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester, or online at HumbleGRP.com. Hi, this is Dr. Stosh Kass, owner of Home Spine and Sport Chiropractic in Millersburg. Our doctors have been treating spinal disc herniations, disc bulges, sciatica, and spinal pain for almost 30 years now with great success. Our office also uses Class 4 medical lasers to decrease inflammation and pain and to aid in the healing of multiple joint and soft tissue injuries. With our newest medical lasers and advanced technology and research, we are now able to offer treatment for multiple forms of neuropathy, including diabetic neuropathy and post-chemo neuropathy. Do you want to stop the frequent burning? and pain in your hands and feet, the loss of sensation and coordination in your hands and feet, or the sharp pain and numbness, we want to help. Call us today for your consultation at 330-674-0444. MRV Sunning Supply is introducing another line of stone called Casa di Sassi, where old world charm meets modern luxury. Whether you're looking to enhance your outdoor space or add a touch of sophistication to your interior design, their wide range of products will meet your every need. Choose from a variety of styles and colors to create the perfect ambiance for your space. Casa di Sassi, where timeless beauty meets exceptional quality. Discover the possibilities at MRV Signing Supply on County Road 624 in Millersburg or on the web at MRVSiding.com. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys. MRV Siding Supply. Clark Fowler Electric Motors and Supplies has been striving to provide the area's best in electric motor services and power transmission needs since 1995. Hi, this is former West Holmes quarterback Noah Clark, and with over 120 years of combined experience in electric motor repairs and service, the staff at Clark Fowler can provide unmatched 24-hour emergency services and rapid turnaround. Clark Fowler Electric is the area's leader in electric motor repair, products, parts, and on-site services. If you need custom solutions for your electric motors, factory, or business, contact Clark Fowler Electric at 330-262-0906 or visit our website at clarkfowlerelectric.com. Go Knights! Are you craving delicious hot pizza? Look no further than Charm Pizza Company. They have the freshest and most delectable toppings to satisfy any craving. From classic pepperoni to unique creations like jalapeno popper or breakfast deluxe pizza, there is something for everyone. Don't forget about the mouth-watering garlic cheese bread sticks, their wings, or try the fresh salads or wrap. Their friendly staff will make sure your order is made to perfection. Dine in, carry out, or delivered straight to your door. Call Charm Pizza Company now at 330-893-7938 for the best pizza in town. Your taste buds will thank Thank you. Running a business is challenging, but managing your finances shouldn't be. This is Carrie Miller, Cash Management Officer at the Commercial and Savings Bank. We understand that time is money, which is why we offer a suite of cash management solutions designed to streamline your operations. From online banking to merchant services, we have the tools you need to keep your business moving forward. Visit our website at csb1.com or call 800-654-9015 to learn more. The Commercial and Savings Bank, your partner in success, member FDIC. There's nothing better than the sound of a hammer, a drill, and a saw. a and Builders in Berlin has been putting all those tools to work for the past 25 years. If you need re-roofing work done, a and Builders is the place to call. They'll also do new homes for both residential and general contractors, along with pool buildings, decks, and custom framing. Call a and Builders in Berlin at 893-2111. That's 893-2111. At Pomerine Hospital, they provide compassionate women's health services for every stage of life. From gynecology and obstetrics to minimally invasive surgeries, find nationally recognized care right here in our community. Whether you need a routine screening or ongoing treatment, their office in Berlin is here to serve you with the latest techniques, knowledge, and training. Ranked among the nation's best rural and community hospitals, Pomerine makes your health and comfort their top priority. Schedule your appointment today at pomerinehospital.org.
It is halftime in Girls Division Three Regional Semifinal Soccer from Portage Community Bank Stadium in Ravenna, and it's third-ranked Manchester with a 1-0 advantage over the Highland Lady Hawks. The lone goal in the first half came with 9.43 to play. Emily Allman with her 10th goal of the year. That would give Manchester a 1-0 lead, and that's the way the scores stay here at halftime. 1-0 Manchester with the advantage over Highland. Numbers favoring Manchester in the first half as they got 12 shots in goal. Highland, uh, Bryn Yoder had six keeper saves in the first half. No shots on goal for Highland in that first half whatsoever. Highland with uh, five direct kicks. Manchester had one. And Manchester also had four corner kicks in the first half. None for Highland. And Highland had ten goal kicks. No goal kicks for the Lady Panthers. Gives you an indication that the play was certainly played predominantly on the Manchester offensive end. And Manchester has that one goal lead over Highland at one nothing. Also update on that West Holmes game. A 1-1 contest at halftime of that game. That also, of course, being video live streamed on the WKLM YouTube page as West Holmes scored a goal with 29 seconds to play in the first half to tie it up. So West Holmes and John Glenn all tied up at one apiece in their girls' Division II regional semifinal matchup. Winner of this Highland-Manchester game moves on to the Saturday's regional championship game, and that'll be against either eighth-ranked champion or Norway at Talmadge at 4 o'clock for that regional finals coming up on Saturday. Reminder, of course, tomorrow, boys, regional semifinal soccer Highland against Worthington Christian that'll be video live streamed on YouTube and also on stream two on our website tomorrow night we'll have boys regional semifinal soccer with Central Christian taking on Evergreen Thursday we'll be video live streaming regional semifinal volleyball from Pickerington North Highland takes on Shenandoah and airtime on the Thursday will be right around seven o'clock for that matchup halftime a score here from Ravenna it is Manchester one Highland nothing back with the second half after this on WKLM Howard Hanna Real Estate Services continues to give you even more options for all your real estate needs. As your local market experts, Howard Hanna has been known as trusted realtors who take special care of your real estate opportunities. Visit them on the web at howardhanna.com or call them at 674-7610. Plus, don't forget about RES Auction Services at res.bid for the latest auctions. Call for consignments at 833-765-3737. Howard Hanna Real Estate Services and RES Auction Services on Glen Drive in Millersburg and visit RES at the Auction Yard on Fry Road in Worcester. They're stronger together and here for you. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? Andy B Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MBB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MBB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center continues to offer the convenience of two great locations on US 62 in Weinsburg and on County Road 201 in Berlin. The Weinsburg shop will take care of heavy duty truck and fleet customers from 7 a.m. to midnight, while the Berlin facility will repair auto and light trucks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Contact them in Weinsburg at 359-5421. Or in Berlin at 674-6970. That's Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center in Weinsburg and Berlin. Are you tired of wasting money on your home energy bills? Let home siting contractors show you just how affordable replacing your windows can be. Provia has developed a reputation within the vinyl replacement window industry for having the best features and options. The Provia Endor and Aspect windows are as stunningly beautiful as they are energy efficient and over time will pay for themselves. Call home siting contractors today to set up your free in-home evaluation by calling 888-725-6619. Denko Marketing of Millersburg reminds you that a properly working and maintained garage door is critical to safety. Door springs, bottom brackets, cables and supports are under extreme tension and can cause serious injury if dealt with them properly. That's why your local garage door dealer is the one to trust. His professional expertise keeps your garage door working as it should and puts the job in the right hands. A safety and service tip from Denko Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. 
A single-family home located at 198 Pleasant Valley Street Southeast in Sugar Creek is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty in auctions with an asking price of $499,000. This property was built in 1993 and has three bedrooms and three full baths with 2,200 square feet located in the Hillside Acres Allotment Subdivision within the Garraway Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Cliff Sprang at 330-464-5155 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. And just about ready for the start of the second half of action as West Highland takes on this Manchester team. McRoy alongside with you for Girls Division Three Regional Semifinal Soccer from Ravenna. And again, we are video live streaming tonight's contest on the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of the Claxon communication team of Casey Claxon, who is producing tonight's live stream coverage. And also Evelyn Heyer is working the camera as well. And also we're on FM 95.3 and WKLM FM.com. Kenna Howe back at WKLM Sports Central. one nothing Manchester as we begin the second half of play. I mentioned the John Glenn West Holmes girls regional semifinal game over Kashant and then also being video live streamed on YouTube tonight. That was tied at one in that game at halftime. So tonight came in both contests here tonight. And again, you can catch both games on YouTube this evening for the soccer broadcast. Just about ready for the start of the second half of play from Ravenna. And Highland will have the initial kick here as we get things started. And Chanel Kellogg standing inside that midfield circle. Highland came in at 12-9-1. Manchester, the third-ranked team in Division Three, unbeaten at 17-0. Highland trying to get to the regional finals for the first time ever. Manchester trying to get back there for a second consecutive year. Of course, they went to the state semifinals a season ago. Play is underway. Manchester going from left to right offensively in the second half. Pass goes to the far sideline. Norris going after the ball. Rolls across the touch. Some contact, though. And a push called on Norris, I believe. As there'll be for Highland, a direct kick for McKenna Schlebel. As Highland goes from right to left here in the second half of action. Sit away on the kick. Bounces away back to Schlebel. Rolling kick back to Maya Miller. Miller's kick back to the far side goes rolling across that touch. Now throw in for Manchester. Back on their offensive end. Back to the far side. Craddock with their pass goes to Norris. Norris works near the top of the box. Working it, trying to find a seam. She'll back away. Pass to Craddock behind her. Her long kick near the net goes bouncing wide right and across the goal line. Craddock going for the long shot opportunity, but Highland will have the... Goal kick, and this will be their 11th goal kick of the night. Goalkeeper Ren Yoder with this kick. Just into the second half, 1-0. Manchester has the lead. Low bouncy kick, cut off on the kick by to the near side by Lewicknowitz. Knocked away, now chased down the kick by Kaylin Miller. Gets over from Mullet. Italy Mullet back to Kaylin Miller near midfield, intercepted again. This time goes to Emily Ullman, who had that lone goal in that first half. Owen's centering pass. Cut off by Mellett. Maya Miller knocks it back inside the circle to Kaylin Miller. Miller has it. Controls it near the midfield line. Double team knocked away. Into the offensive end. Goes over to Tipton. To Norris. Stolen away by Maya Miller. Rolls her pass far side. Cut off again. And kept in play on that pass. Goes over to Lauren Gunsett for Manchester. Cut off to the far end. On the steal here by Mallory Stutzman. Good steal by her, by Stutzman's kick near midfield. Going to be cut off, however, on the kick by Grace Souls. Back to the far side. And finally goes across that touch off of Kayla Miller. Throw in for Manchester, midway into their offensive end. one nothing Manchester lead. Throw in by Craddock down the far side. Off the foot of Norris. Her pass near the top of the box, deflected away by Lydia Mast to the near sideline. Now the Tipton for Manchester. Her pass. Gets over to Ullman, who rolls it back to the far sideline. Ball knocked away by Emily Gingrich. Lobs it inside the circle. Goes to Kellogg, to Gingrich. She's back down by Ullman, back to the far side. Manchester has the ball. Back to the corner, goes over to Katie Norris. Norris along the goal line, trying to turn the corner, backs it up, and knocked across that goal line off of the Lady Hawks. So corner kick for Norris from that far side of the field, trying to get back there quickly. Fifth corner kick of the night. 
And actually, she will not kick it. Instead, she'll give way to her teammate, Craddock, who will kick it as for usual. So with this corner kick, Ella Craddock, the junior. Craddock with that kick. Seals up there in front of the net. Knocked away on the header. Outside the box by Stutzman to the far sideline. Rolls across that touchline. Again, another good play defensively by Mallory Stutzman inside the box. Thrown in. Inside the box again. Kicked by Tipton. Off the foot of Chloe Beach now. Controlled by Italy Mola. Off the foot of Ullman to Chloe Beach. Who rolls it near sideline. Now cut off by Kerry Clark. Rolls it near sideline. Goes across the touch. Highland's going to have this throw. Thrown in near sideline goes to Italy Mullet to Beach, who lobs it high in the air for Highland across the midfield. Now the Chanel Kellogg. There's a header. Knocked up in the air on the kick by Bull. Seals his way near sideline. Goes to Oweknewitz. Back over to Norris to Tipton. Stolen away by Chloe Beach. Good steal by her. Lobs it up in the air. Intercepted by Ullman. Centering pass down to Bull. Works it inside the circle for Manchester. Her pass far sideline. Now Corral on the kick. Goes off the foot of... Maya Shaver back into the Manchester office in. Here's Norris with the pass left wing. Manchester on the left side. Inside the box. Here's the cross. Can be knocked down by Stutzman again. Gets it out of there. Now on the kick by Gingrich back near the midfield line. Gets it over to Kellogg. Stutter step. Kellogg trying to get past the defender. Can't do it. And the whistle blown. Both players going after that ball. Yeah, they call that whistle. And it'll be a push called on Kellogg trying to prevent that steal from happening. Direct kick for Manchester, their second of the contest. Five minutes into the second half, 1-0 Manchester lead. Kick by Emily Ullman. Seals it away inside the box. There's a header by Stutzman again. Bounces near the goal line, goes across the goal line. And she was leaping up in the air, goes over the top. Uh, Lauren Gunson, where that ball was for, and she knocks it away, but it will be a corner kick for Manchester. This will be their sixth of the game, second of the second half. So Craddock again with this kick. Snow flurries are coming down tonight in Ravenna. Craddock with the kick. Low kick can be knocked high in the air again. This time by Miller, knocks it outside of the box. Craddock will chase it back down on that left wing. Lobs it near the net, bounces wide right, though, and across the goal line. Couldn't connect with anybody. Norris around it, but unable to get to that ball. And it will be a goal kick for Highland now. Their 12th of the game. Flurry's really starting to come down more here in the second half. And yeah, players will have to deal with that in this regional semifinal soccer contest. Kicked by Bryn Yoder. Seals it away near sideline. Knocked down by Oleknowitz. Cut off by Italy Mola. Trying to control it. Oleknowitz with the kick over to Tipton. Near the top of the box to Norris. She'll find her teammate near the top of the box area. Left wing the Craddock. Craddock will back it up now. Spins around, controls the pass, goes back to the far sideline. Gets it over now over to Shaber. Back over to Craddock. Now still spread the field near the top of the box to Norris. Norris spins around. Rolls her pass back to the far side. The Shaber works at left wing. Back to the far side corner. Keeping that ball in play is Lauren Gunsett. Near the corner. Gets a cross off inside the box. Off the foot of Stutzman. Tipton with a shot. Knocked down by Bryn Yoder. She'll get the keeper save. Got it to Tipton. A hard shot inside the box by Tipton. And somehow Yoder able to knock that ball down. And she dies back on top of it on top of the turf. A hard shot by Tipton with that shot on goal. And the keeper save the seventh of the game by Bryn Yoder. Will keep it at a one nothing game. She'll punt it away inside the circle. Knocked down. Here's Tipton. Centering pass. Gets the Craddock now for Manchester. Works it up field. Rolls it back to the far sideline. Cannot connect with that pass to Lauren Gunson. And rolls it across the touch. Though in for Highland. McRoy alongside with you. Again, video live streamed on YouTube tonight. Casey Claxon and Evelyn Heyer helping produce the video live stream coverage on YouTube. From Claxon Communications and also on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. It is Kenny Howe back at WKLM Sports Central. In, in the offensive end, here's Norris. Long shot by Norris. Near that, into the hands of goalkeeper Brent Yoder again. Norris with the 14th shot on goal for Manchester tonight. The eighth keeper saved by Yoder. she punt it away. Bounces it near that 35-yard line. There's the header by Craddock to Tipton. Back near the midfield circle. Off the foot of Kayla Miller. Now the Chanel Kellogg who knocks it across the touch. Throw in for the Lady Panthers. 1-0 Manchester advantage. Throw in down that far sideline. Knocked across the touchline. 
Once again, the West Holmes John Glenn game also being live streamed on the WKLM YouTube page. They're also in the second half that was tied up at one last we knew with West Holmes and John Glenn in their girls' division two regional semifinal soccer contest. Back near midfield, the kick now over to Italy Mullet back into the Highland offensive end. Here's Kellogg going after the ball. Stepping in front of the ball, though, Bull gets to it quickly. She'll knock it back across the midfield line. Knocked back down by Lydia Mass. They call her for the handball. Manchester will have the indirect kick. About 15 yards into their offensive end. Kicks it away by Craddock near the top of the box. Went for the quick kick, but the official says not so fast. We, we weren't ready for that. And they'll have to replace that ball. Again, near that 35-yard line on the Manchester offensive end. 31 minutes to play, second half. 1-0 Manchester advantage. Craddock with the kick. Sails it near the top of the box. Takes a bounce, knocked down by Stutzman. She'll control it. Stutzman rolls it inside the circle, deflected away by Craddock. Gets back to the far side, let Shaber. Back to the far end, goes over to the direction of Lauren Guns that can't control it. She'll knock it back near midfield. Gets it over to Maya Shaber to Guns it. And finally ricochets across the touch, throw in for Highland. Lobbed in down the far sideline by McKenna Schleyball. Ricochets back over to Kaylin Miller. Knocks her kick into the Highland offensive end. Nobody else around that ball. Going after it is Italy Mullipan. Knocked away instead by goalkeeper Maddie Cox. The senior got to it first as she knocks it back in near midfield. Back to the far side. Very few times the defenders for Manchester have not taken the ball away and given taking Highland's chances away from getting a chance to get to that ball. That time, there was an open opportunity to get to that ball for Italy Mullet, but uh, again, good job by Cox, the goalkeeper, get, to get to that ball first. Back to the far side, Manchester has the ball. Centering pass goes rolling right past Katie Norris. With it now is Lechnowitz. Back to Norris, the kick off the foot now of Grace Souls. Back to the far sideline, the Shaber. Her pass to Norris, top of the box. Her shot near the neck and it was wide left and across the goal line. This will be the 13th goal kick tonight for Highland. Just under 30 minutes to go. one nothing Manchester. Winner moves on to Saturday's regional championship, 4 o'clock at Talmadge against either Champion or Norway. Kicks it away by Bren Yoder to the far sideline. That'll be intercepted by Katie Norris. Now to Craddock, works it near the top of the box, gets the pass off. Rolls inside the box area and grabbed easily by goalkeeper Bren Yoder. Couldn't connect with anybody on that rolling pass, and Yoder scoops it up instead. Yoder punts it away, sails it back near the midfield. Goes off the foot now of Souls to near sideline, over to Tipton, near side of the pass down to Olechnowitz. Knocked back near the midfield line, intercepted by Souls, her pass. Goes off the official, it looks like, and he'll call the whistle. Maybe a drop ball here near that 35-yard line to resume action. 28 and a half to play, second half. Manchester has a 1-0 lead. There's the drop ball. Souls will have it. Her pass near the top of the box where Cachet's back to her. Knocks it back to the far sideline. Kick by Schaber. Goes high on the left. The guns it. Back to Norris, give and go, back to Gunsett, but she can't get to it. Rolls across that touchline. Highland's going to have this throw. Highland played Manchester all the way back in the first game of the year and lost to them 4-0 in that game. Right now, still in it, though, in this game. Down 1-0. That kick knocked down. And as we all know, Highland has improved greatly since then, but obviously a terrific Manchester team. Came in unbeaten on the year. And... There's the whistle blown. Heinlein's going to have this uh, direct kick about the 38-yard line or so on the Highland defensive end. McKenna Stable's going to have this kick. She'll knock it away to Kaylin Miller. Knocked back to the far side. who's bouncing across the touch. And it's a throw in for the Lady Hawks. Down one nothing midway into their offensive end, seeing if they can... Have an opportunity here on the offensive side of the ball. Throw in by Maya Miller. Bouncing throw goes to Kaylin Miller. Shields the defender. And can't keep it in play, though. Goes across the touch. And a throw in now by Maya Shaber. Bounces across that midfield line. Getting to it. Mallory Stutzman goes sealing off for her foot and across the touch. 
Throw in for the Lady Panthers with 26.50 and counting second half. one nothing Manchester lead. They'll have the throw. Again, the snow flurries coming down here in Ravenna in the second half of action. Short throw goes to Norris. Back over to Shaber. Works her pass around Gingrich. And now Gingrich gets a foot on that ball. She'll steal it. Hick deflected. Goes across the touchline. And it'll be Corral now on the kick. It looked like it may have been a handball, but they didn't call it. Ball rolls near the center portion of the field. Goes to Katie Norris. Norris with a kick. Inside the box. Rolls wide left and across the goal line. Trying to lead that pass in there. As going after it, Oeknowitz, but it'll be a goal kick instead for Bryn Yoder, the 14th of the game for Highland. 26 minutes to go, one nothing Manchester lead, but Highland hanging in there. Kick by Bryn Yoder. Low kick, knocked down. Guns it with the pass to Norris. Norris inside the box. Her shot going to be right to the right corner. Katie Norris with that goal just past the diving Bryn Yoder, the second goal of the game. That time, Katie Norris... Her team-leading 62nd goal of the year. And Manchester takes a 2-0 lead, 25-46 to play in the second half. We'll take a timeout. This is girls' regional semifinal soccer on WKLM. Loading the kids in the car. Brokering peace in the back seat. Mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple, so you can worry about more important things, like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent. Hobrin's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767.
And back it away here, it's a 2-0 lead for Manchester. Of course, the goal by Katie Norris. Giving Manchester the 2-0 lead. Norris, her team-leading 62nd goal of the year with that goal. And playing now with uh, just over 20 minutes to go here in the second half. 2-0 Manchester over Highland in the Girls Division Three Regional Semifinal Soccer Contest from Ravenna. Ball lobbed in back to the far side. A couple of bounces near that far side corner. And knocked down. Here's the kick. Tipton lobs it near the net. Going to be to the right corner. Gina Tipton with that goal that time for Ravenna. And she'll knock it in. And that comes with 20 one to play here in the second half. Gina Tipton gives Manchester a 3-0 lead. And for Tipton, her 17th goal of the year for her. So two goals in the second half for Manchester. And they've taken a big lead over Highland at 3-0. And that's a big margin here, especially against a team like Manchester. And, again, the terrific team. There's a reason why they're undefeated. And went through the state semifinals last year. And showing that here tonight, up 3-0 right now. Play does resume. 3-0 Manchester in the second half. Here's the kick. Back near that 40-yard line. Back inside the circle. Gets it over near side of the pass to Grace Souls. Back it over to Emily Ullman. Back to the far end. Works it inside the circle. Back to Ullman. Ullman works it. Her pass off. Gets over to Souls. Near side of the pass. Now controlled by Kerry Clark. Update on the West Holmes-John Glenn game. West Holmes has a 4-1 lead. So they've had a strong second half themselves. West Holmes with three goals in the second half. And they've taken a 4-1 lead over John Glenn. With 19.45 to play in the second half in that game. That also being video live streamed on YouTube. So West Holmes close to getting an opportunity to go move on to the regional finals so they can hold on to get that win. A 4-1 right now over John Glenn and their game over at Coshocton. Now bounces inside the circle here at Ravenna. It'll be Manchester with the ball. Centering pass goes over to Cranick. Controls it, works it. Her pass goes inside the box. Going after that ball is Ida Heyman. Heyman's kick on a cross. And knocked in the net there. That'll be another goal here, I believe. No, they're going to say a whistle blown. It'll be an offsides call. And they'll wave that one off. Indirect kick for Highland will be their third. Ren Yoder will have this kick for Highland with 18.20 to go. Second half, 3 nothing Manchester advantage. After the game, we'll be announcing the Six Monies Player of the Game, offering design styles in both traditional and glitter. You'll never have to worry about looking good on game day. Stay up to date with their latest offerings on Facebook and Instagram and shop online at sixmonies.com. Six Monies for quality and service never go out of style. Ball sent away on the kick, lobs it near side, going to be knocked back down by Heyman. Heyman works it right wing, knocked away across that touch. Ball thrown into the right wing. Knocked away by Maya Miller off the foot now of Craddock. Bounces inside the box. Scooped up by goalkeeper Bryn Yoder, though. 17 and a half to go. 3 nothing Manchester. She'll punt it away. Header by Kaylin Miller. Now to Kellogg near midfield. Knocked away. Here's the steal here on the far side by Lauren Gunsett. Works down the far end of the field. Pass goes to Craddock. Knocks it back to the top of the box. Rolls inside the box area. Grabbed off the bounce of that turf by goalkeeper Bren Yoder. Yoder will corral it, survey the field, and she will punt it away. Sails its way near side of the field. And takes a bounce near side over the foot of Italy Mola. Stepped in front of by Craddock. She'll roll it across the touch, though. Highland is going to have this throw. Rihanna lies to throw it in for the Lady Hawks down 3-0. Throw it in, goes to Italy Mullet, off of her foot and across the touch. Throw in for Manchester. Manchester came in at 17-0, Highland at 12-9-1. And the throw down the near sideline, intercepted by Rihanna Lies. Off the foot now of Heyman. Gets a foot on the ball. Tipton goes after the ball. Rolls her kick near the top of the box to the Norse. Norse a shot near the net. Goes wide left. And across the goal line. And this will be a goal kick for Highland. Their 15th of the night. 18 shots and goal for Manchester tonight. And none for Highland. 
Kicked by Bryn Yoder. Lobs it up in the air. And knocked down by Kaylin Miller. Deflected across the goal line. Or across the touch line, excuse me. And it's going to be off of Manchester and Jaden McKinney. Highland's going to have this throw from their defensive end. And checking in for Highland now is Jennifer Miller. And Mia Frey also checking in as well for the Lady Hawks. 15 and a half to go. 3 0 Manchester lead. Here's the throw in. Rolls back near midfield. Off the foot of Bull. Knocked away. Back into the Manchester offensive end. Here's Norse. Lobs her kick inside the box. And trying to find a, a cutting Ida Heyman. It goes past her, though, and bounces to the near sideline. And I believe that bounced across that goal line, and it did. So it'll be a goal kick for Highland. Now they're 16th of the night. Sixth of the second half. Bren Yoder lobs it near sideline, takes the bounce. Goes right past Italy Mullen and across the touch. So throw in for the Lady Panthers. Midway into their offensive end. Thrown in by Gunsett, near side to Tipton. Stolen away. Here's the kick by Italy Mullet. She'll knock it across the midfield line inside the circle. Intercepted by Kennedy Bull. Works it for Manchester offensively. Centering pass down to Craddock. She'll work it. Goes past to the far sideline. Centering pass back to Tipton. Works it back over to Norris. Top of the box back to Tipton. Cut off and a kick by Lydia Mass. Lobs it back near midfield. Getting back to it. Kick near side by Ullman. Gets a pass off. In the near side of the field to Marissa Geim. Geim knocked back inside the circle now. Intercepted again by Bull. Works it. Gets a centering pass back to Norris. Norris works it near side just behind her. Souls with her pass near side. Gets it over to Craddock. Now the Tipton. Back over to Norris. Norris works it offensively near the 20-yard line. Near the top of the box. Knocked away by Lydia Mass. Intercepted, however, by Souls. Her pass back to Norris. High on the left side. 13-45 to play second half. 3-0 Manchester. Now left wing back over to Tipton. Inside the box. Knocked away on the kick that time by Rihanna Lies. Who pounds it away defensively. And she'll find on the far end over to Jennifer Miller. Knocks it across that touch line. And a throw in for the Lady Panthers. Highland down 3-0. As I mentioned, the other game we have video live stream tonight. The West Holmes John Glenn game. Last we knew, West Holmes had a 4-1 lead in the second half of their regional semifinal game. Here's the kick by Tipton. Knocked back down by Stutzman. Tipton around the defender. Rolls off her foot and across the goal line. Good job by Sutzman defensively. Now they're going to see it's off of the Lady Hawks. Sutzman didn't think so. And that's going to result in a corner kick for Manchester. Their seventh of the night. Comes from the far side of the field. Craddock with the corner kick from that far side. Manchester has a 3-0 lead in the second half. Craddock with the kick. Seals in front of the net. Going to be in traffic. Knocked by Norris near the net. Knocked away. Knocked out of there. Finally by Lydia Mass. Chased down by Mullet. Near the top of the box goes the Souls. Back to Ullman. Ullman controls it. Spins around. Her long shot near the net. In grab by goalkeeper Bren Yoder. Ullman with that shot on goal. Yoder there for the keeper. Save her ninth of the night. But the 19th shot on goal by Manchester that time by Ullman who had a goal in the first half. Punted away inside the circle. Bounces across the touch. 12 minutes to play in the second half. All Manchester up 3 0. Reminder tomorrow night we'll have boys Division Three regional semifinal soccer. As Highland will be in action from Heath. And we'll have that game for you. Also, a video live streamed on YouTube. Also on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Your time tomorrow night at 6.35. That kick goes into the office end of Craddock. Now to Tipton near the top of the box. Tipton corrals it. Works it in. Knocked away. Kicks it away by Rihanna Lies. Intercepted by uh, Norris. Her shot going to be deflected away by diving Bryn Yoder. And finally knocked across the goal line. Norris with that hard shot on goal. And good job by Yoder to... Bat that ball away on the diving stop. It'll be off a of Highland across the goal line. Another corner kick for Manchester. Bren Yoder, her 10th keeper save tonight. 20 shots on goal for Manchester. This will be their 8th corner kick. Craddock with the kick. Lobs it up in front of the net. It'll be a header. Goes wide right off the goalpost. Pounds away off the goalpost to the near side corner. 
Oman had that header off Oman again inside the box and finally grabbed off the bounce by goalkeeper Bryn Yoder. So Highland dodges that traffic. An opportunity for the Lady Panthers, but still down 3 0. Punted away on the short kick by Yoder. Bounces near that 40 yard line. Ullman is there to intercept. Her pass goes over to Norris, works it in. Near the top of the box to Tipton. Now over to Craddock inside the box. Craddock with her shot. Going to be right past Brent Yoder. She'll get the goal. Craddock that time with the shot and finds that left corner of the net. Ella Craddock, the junior with that kick, comes with. Ten and a half to play in the second half. Craddock mainly has been sort of like the point guard tonight. He's been more to the middle of the field, working to get the ball into the direction of the goal scorers for this Manchester team. But that time, she was able to be the offensive player inside the box, and Craddock got the goal. And for Craddock, that is her eighth goal of the year. And Manchester now has taken a 4 0 lead. Hilo has the ball. 11 minutes to go in the second half. It's a 4 2 West Ole's advantage over John Glenn and their game over at Stewart Field in Coshocton. So West Ole's about 11 minutes away from moving on to the regional finals. Right here, Highland is on the short end, down 4 0. Manchester has the ball offensively to that far side. Near the corner. Sliding kick opportunity for Gina McKinney, but goes across the goal line. And it will be a goal kick for Highland, their 17th of the game. You see that discrepancy, 17 goal kicks for Highland, one for Manchester, and gives you an idea. It's been mainly on that Manchester offensive end. They've got the, the 21 shots in goal, Highland with none. And Manchester, again, has taken a 4 0 lead. They. They're outstanding on both sides of the ball, this Manchester team, as we talked about before the game, scoring 109 goals on the year, entering this game, giving up just six. So that's how dominant they've been all season for the Lady Panthers. Inside the midfield circle, here's Kaylin Miller for Highland. Rolls it back to the far sideline. Now to Gingrich, who works it offensively. Past the defender, Gingrich works it near the 20-yard line, now to the 10. Gingrich near the corner. Her pass to the top of the box. Cut off by Souls and knocked out of there. On the kick, it goes rolling across the touch on that far sideline. That'll be off of Manchester. Highland's going to have this throw midway into their offensive end. McKenna Schleyball will lob it in. Knocked down by Souls. Gets over to Craddock. Craddock's pass. Rolls past near midfield over to Tipton. Back over to Norris. Norris will back it up. Rolls it back to the far sideline. Gingrich will there to intercept it off of her foot and across the touch. It'll be a throw-in for Manchester. After the game, we'll be announcing the Six Bunnies player of the game. Six Bunnies, your one-stop shop for all things custom apparel. Stay up to date with their latest offerings on Facebook and Instagram and shop online at sixbunnies.com. Six Bunnies, for quality and service, never go out of style. Ball bounces down that far sideline. Finally across the touch. It'll be a throw-in. As we near the eight-minute mark of the second half, and Manchester in control up four to nothing in the regional semifinals. Throw in for Highland. Knocked down in traffic across the touch. Throw in again for the Lady Hawks. Mia Frey with that throw in back near midfield. Knocked down in traffic. Kellogg gets to it. She'll control it. Double team. And midfield now over to Frey, who knocks it back down the far sideline. Intercepted here on the kick for Kerry Clark. Knocked up in the air. Bounces to the Highland offensive end. Kellogg going after the ball. Chased down by Allman defensively. She'll work it down to the far corner with not allowing Kellogg to get a foot on that ball. Allman still with the ball. Lobs it up in the air. Rolls it back near that 30-yard line. 7-19 to play. Rolls back near the midfield line. Rihanna Lies will get to it for Highland. Her centering kick goes to Norris. Stepped in front of on the steal by Italy Mullet, who has it knocked away from her. And knocked finally across that touch. Mullet with the throw for Highland. On their offensive end, she'll give way to her teammate Rihanna Lies instead, near that 20 yard line. Seven minutes to go in the second half. Throw in then Mullet, left wing. Mullet spins around, controls it, works it near sideline. And knocked across the touch again. Gets the throw left wing. There's a header near the top of the box. 
Knocked out of there by Bull. Back near the midfield line. Knocked the other way by McKenna Schleyball to Tipton. And chasing after it, Maya Miller back in a, near that 35-yard line. There's a push. Called on Highlands, Maya Miller. It'll be a direct kick for Manchester, their third of the game. With 6.18 to go, Manchester has a 4-0 lead. And the kick rolls across the midfield line back to the far side of the field. A little bouncing kick to Tipton. Back on the near side, the strong kick goes bouncing across that touch off of the Lady Panthers. It'll be a throw in for Highland. Rihanna Lies has his throw about 10 yards shy of that midfield line. Gets the throw, gets it over to Italy Mullet. Her pass goes inside the circle. Chase down on the kick by Maya Miller, lobs it up in the air, 540 to play. Miller knocks it back into the Highland offensive end, cut off. And the kick by Bull inside the circle to Tipton. And the kick by Souls into the offensive end as she finds Heyman. Now inside the box, kick by Heyman, deflected away by Yoder, knocked down. And finally knocked out of there by Rihanna Lies. Opportunity right that time by Heyman is it was a Yoder who, who went down on the turf, somehow got a hand on it. And Lies did a good job knocking that ball out of there. Otherwise, that would have been an easy goal for Heyman in the fifth goal of the game. Instead, keeps it at 4-0 with five minutes to go. Manchester in control, trying to move on to the regional finals to take on either Champion or Norway. Saturday, 4 o'clock at Talmadge. That kick goes over to Tipton, right wing. Lewicknewich inside the box, knocked out of there. Knocked away by Mallory Stutzman defensively. You know, you throw in for the Lady Panthers from that near side corner. Short throw by Marissa Geem. Back inside of the corner. Knocked away by Lies again. Deflected off the foot of Manchester, and Lies will have this throw. Four and a half to go. Throw near side of the field. A couple bounces. Goes right back across the touch. And now Geem will have a chance to throw it from that same spot right near the corner on their offensive end for Manchester. Game with the throw and to the right wing, knocked down. Deflected away on the steal by Lies. And Lydia Mass got a foot on that ball. Finally going to be a direct kick for Highland. Well, the handball actually on that, it'll be knocked away. Kick by Lies, lobs it near sideline. Back to McKenna Stable. The Lies, she'll knock it as it sails it back near that midfield line area. She's down by Bull. Works it back defensively for Manchester. Rolls it back to the near sideline. Gets it over to Ullman. Ullman's pass. Right past midfield. Three and a half to go. With it is Rowan Lewicknewich. Rolls it back near the goal line area. That kick deflected across the goal line off the of Highland. And Lydia Mass will be a corner kick for Manchester. Initial kick by Ida Heyman. And then now the ninth quarter kick tonight for Manchester comes from the near side of the field. Craddock with the kick as she's been doing the quarter kicking throughout the night, nearing the three-minute mark of the second half. Kick by Craddock, seals it away in front of the net, going to be knocked down by Tipton, and Highland knocks out of there, and then a kick near the net again, going to be grabbed by goalkeeper Bryn Yoder. Yoder has her 11th keeper saved, and she'll now punt it away. 2.45 to play. Manchester up 4 to nothing in their regional semifinals. Back to the far sideline. Manchester spreads the field. Kick bounce. Knocked down and cut off by Chloe Beach. Works it middle of the field. Knocked away. Rolls across the midfield line. Near side. Lily Mullet goes going after that ball for Highland. Cut off instead by Geem. She'll knock it across the touch. Highland has the throw with 2.20 to go. With the snow flurries coming down. And Rihanna Lies will have this throw right at midfield. Throw knocked down. Gets over to Beach. Knocks it in play. Down to the left wing on the Highland offensive side. Chased down by Ullman, though. She'll roll it back to her goalkeeper in Maddie Cox. Cox deflected away on the kick. Back to the far sideline. Kellogg tried to get a foot on that ball. Knocked to the far end of the field. Kept in play. Back over to Ullman. Knocks it back to the far sideline. Over to Craddock. She'll control it. The pass goes over to Tipton, defensively for Manchester. Her pass 
Now to Elektowicz back inside the midfield circle. One and a half to go. Craddock with a pass right wing. Going after it is Ullman right wing inside the box near the goal line. And Stutzman getting doing a good job stepping in front of her defensively. Back to the corner. Kick near the top of the box goes to Tipton. Tipton knocked away. There's the steal. Good job on the kick back near the midfield line. Back near that line over to Italy Mullen. Near side goes to Chanel Kellogg. 1.13 to go. Back over to Mullet, but just ahead of her. And again, that great defensive play on the defenders for Manchester all game long just have not allowed Highland to really have an opportunity once they've gotten past midfield, which hasn't been a lot, but when they have, just have had no opportunities. And the credit to the Manchester defenders from uh, preventing that all game long. Under a minute to go. And Manchester looking like they're going to be moving on to the regional finals for a second consecutive year. Stutzman, with her kick, stolen away by Ida Heyman. Rolls it back to the far side corner. Along the goal line, and rolls across the goal line. And this will be on the kick. On the attack was Gina McKinney. Deflected by Highland, so it will be a corner kick. Their 10th of the game. 20 seconds to go. Craddock will have this kick again. But again, just final 17 seconds and a 4-0 Manchester advantage. Raddock with that kick. Going to be a header by Stutzman. Pounds it out of there, but that will do it. Final three seconds, and Manchester will be moving on as they'll take their back-to-back -back trips to the regional finals. They win at 4-0 over Highland tonight. Manchester unbeaten at 18-0. And ranked third in Division Three. they'll play this Saturday at 4 o'clock while Highland will end their season at 12-10-1. Again, the final, Manchester 4, Highland nothing. We'll be back around to wrap the game up after this on WKLM. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Ready to turn back time? This is Dr. Emily Reeser of Dr. Brad Welsh & Associates. PDO threads are a non-surgical, minimally invasive way to achieve a youthful and lifted appearance. These dissolvable threads are skillfully placed under the skin to stimulate your body's natural collagen production. PDO threads can be used to address a wide range of concerns, including sagging skin, wrinkles, fine lines, and more. To see before and after pictures and the other cosmetic injection services we provide, visit our website at drbradwelsh.com. To schedule a consultation, give us a call at 330-674-4876. Howard Hanna Real Estate Services continues to give you even more options for all your real estate needs. As your local market experts, Howard Hanna has been known as trusted realtors who take special care of your real estate opportunities. Visit them on the web at howardhanna.com or call them at 674-7610. Plus, don't forget about RES Auction Services at res.bid for the latest auctions. Call for consignments at 833-765-3737. Howard Hanna Real Estate Services and RES Auction Services on Glen Drive in Millersburg and visit RES at the Auction Yard on Fry Road in Worcester. They're stronger together and here for you. This is Raleigh Mast. I'm a fleet mechanic with Yoder Lumber Logistics. We are a truck load carrier and broker servicing customers east of the Rocky Mountains. We have a fleet of late model equipment specializing in flatbed and Conestoga freight. At Yoder Lumber Logistics, we take pride in offering our customers fast and friendly service at competitive rates for all their inbound and outbound needs. Give us a call today at 330-893-3131. It is the final in Girls Division Three Regional Semifinal Soccer from Ravenna, and Manchester will remain unbeaten on the year. They defeat Highland by the score of 4-0 to advance on to the regional finals for a second consecutive year. For the scoring today, one goal scored in the first half. That was by Emily Ullman. Her 10th goal of the year came with 9.43 to play in the first half, and it was a 1-0 Manchester lead at halftime. But they would tack on three more goals in the second half. Katie Norris, her team-leading 62nd goal of the year, came with 25.50 to play in the second
second half, giving Manchester a 2-0 lead. And then it was uh, the goal in the, with the 2020 with 20 minutes to play in the second half, another goal by Manchester. This time would come on the kick by Gina Tipton. That would be her 17th goal of the year. Gave Manchester a 3-0 lead. And then Ella Krennic with 10 and a half to go. Her eighth goal of the year would give uh, Manchester a 4-0 advantage. And Manchester gets the win by that margin, 4-0 over Highland. Manchester had 22 shots on goal, none for Highland tonight, while Bren Yoder had 11 keeper saves this evening for Highland. Highland had seven direct kicks, Manchester with three. Manchester had 10 corner kicks, Highland had no corner kicks this evening, and Highland had 12 goal, 17 goal kicks rather on the night, just one goal kick for Manchester by comparison, and Manchester wins this game in dominant fashion as they have been doing all season long, 4-0 over Highland. For Manchester, with the win, they will go to 18-0. They are ranked third, of course, in Division Three. They'll advance on to the regional finals this Saturday. And Champion had a 3-0 lead over Norway in the second half of their game last we saw. So Champion was in control of that. So more than likely, it'll be Manchester against Champion. Champion ranked eighth in Division Three. Manchester, of course, ranked third. And that would be this Saturday, 4 o'clock at Talmadge. Highland for them, another terrific run for this Highland team. This was a Highland team that but you didn't know that they were going to have a chance to make a run like this this year for this team. But uh, credit to them, uh, they got better uh, all season long for an inexperienced Highland team this year. And for them playing their best soccer at the right time of the year, it'll make a nice run to get them back, uh, sells back to the regionals for a fourth consecutive season. So they bow out here, but no shame in losing to a team like Manchester. A terrific season for the Highland team that they'll uh, this is their season will end here at the regional semifinal level here tonight. Uh, reminder, of course, coming away tomorrow, we'll have boys regional semifinal soccer coming away, and that will be Highland against Worthy and the Christian. That'll be video live streamed on YouTube, airtime at 6.35 for that. And also tomorrow night on stream two on WKLMFM.com, we'll have boys regional semifinal soccer action. Central Christian takes on Evergreen in that game on stream two. And Thursday, we'll have regional semifinal volleyball, also video live streamed on YouTube. Highland takes on Shenandoah. Airtime will be at uh, about 7 o'clock approximately for that game on Thursday, uh, match time right around 7.30 for that as well. Uh, update also that the West Holmes game against John Glenn tonight saw West Holmes win 4-2 to over John Glenn, so the West Holmes Lady Knights their girls' soccer team will move on to the regional finals. And, of course, that will be coming up this Saturday uh, for them. So uh, congratulations to the West Holmes girls' soccer team. That game, of course, was on YouTube uh, tonight as well on the WKLM YouTube page. They do defeat John Glenn 4-2 to advance on to Saturday's regional championship. We do want to thank our video live stream partners, Claxon Communications, allowing us to bring you this video live stream coverage this evening from Ravenna, that being Casey Claxon and Evelyn Heyer. And also thanks... Now back at WKLM Sports Central to Kenna Howe. Again, the final score in girls, Division Three Regional Semifinal Soccer from Ravenna. Manchester moving on. They defeat Highland by the final score of 4 to nothing. So long, everybody. Troyer's Country Market, 5201 County Road 77, across from Highland High School, has a 52,000-foot retail store with wholesome foods. The store features a deli, cafe, sample station, and shelves full of lots and lots of good food. Find their weekly in-store specials at troyerscountrymarket.com. Taking on a large exterior home project is no small task. When you're looking for the best options in roofing, siding, windows, and doors, Provia products are the clear choice. At Provia, quality is engineered into the product, integrity is never compromised, and local craftsmanship delivers a stunning final result that will last for generations. Our experts at Keim Home Center are here to help you explore the possibilities. Visit Keim in Charm, Ohio. Keim, built on trust since 1911. Black Friday is Black November at Millersburg Electric with appliance discounts all month long. Storewide savings on all appliance brands including the top rated line of Speed Queen laundry products. In addition to the traditional white, Speed Queen is now offering a popular black matte finish. Building or remodeling? See the full line of cafe kitchen products and earn up to $3,000 in rebates. Plus, qualified customers receive 12 months interest-free financing. It's Black November at Millersburg Electric on State Route 83 or shop 24-7 at millersburgelectric.com.
your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg inviting you to come experience the Premier Pharmacy difference. We want to be your teammate as you navigate the complex world of healthcare, offering you consistent, fast service and always being available to answer whatever questions you may have. Call us or stop in today. We will transfer all your active prescriptions from your current pharmacy so you don't have to worry about a thing. That's why we are Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. Have you heard of Seat Farm Tires yet? We bet your neighbors have. Hi, this is Brad Smucker from Millersburg Tire Service, and we have been selling this premium radial tire for over six years now. If you need a good tire that has been proven in the field and on the road at a great price, then Seat is the tire for you. Just remember your ABCs. Always buy Seat. When you want the best, call MTS. Reach us at 330-674-1085, and our experts will give you all the details. Located on the State Route 39 east of Mellersburg, celebrating 70 years in the tire business. Stop in all this week for these great savings at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have Jenny O frozen turkeys, 99 cents a pound, limit of two. Gerber's boneless chicken lover's choice for $4.49 a pound. Red raspberries or blackberries, two for $4. We also have 85% lean ground round, $3.99 a pound. Beef loin boneless top sirloin steak, $6.99 a pound. Beef chuck boneless chuck roast, $4.99 a pound. Beef chuck boneless chuck steak, $5.19 a pound. Beef for stew, $4.99 a pound. Whole pork shoulder butts, $1.79 a pound. And 12 ounce package of Sugardale All Meat Franks, $1.19. That's now through Sunday at Rody's IG Marketplace in Millersburg. Thank you for watching High School Soccer from FM 95.3 WKLM. Tonight's game has been a production of WKLM Radio and Claxon Communications.